after the gruesome battle with Carnage, which resulted in Eddie Brock's son, Dylan's death, the Venom symbiote sword to never bond to a host again, as he believes he has made both Eddie and Dylan's lives worse. Weakened by a vampiric parasite, the captive, now the Venom symbiote, wants to die alone. On the other side, Carnage confronted Eddie Brock, Meridius, and the other various kings in black, the rulers of the symbiote race, at Meridius' garden at the end of time. They fought for hours, but in the end, Carnage defeated all of them, destroyed the garden, and forced all the king in black to escape into the time stream. Now unknown to the Venom symbiote, Dylan returned to life after visiting the end of time, the eventuality, the final version of Eddie Brock, where he saw a terrifying new vision of his father's future. Eddie too has seen the future of his son Dylan as the whole world get engulfed in the symbiotes if Dylan reclaims the Venom symbiote as his own, and there is no way that Eddie and his fellow kings in black can let that happen even if that means starting a new world. Welcome to Comics to YouTube channel. In today's video, we will review Chapter 1 of Venom World. So if you guys are new here, please subscribe and turn on all the notifications to never miss any future uploads. Please like, comment and share. All the text and images are owned by its respected company. You can support them by purchasing it digitally or from any offline stores. The issue opens up in New York City at Grand Garden Arena, where a big wrestling match is currently going on. A four-way brawl, a night of fight, even killing is allowed in this arena. The match just only started for half an hour, but suddenly, out of nowhere, a portal opens up, and from it, Eddie Brock and his King in Blacks pop up and take the control of the arena by breaking bones and making the fighters have dead. Eddie then grabs the mic and claims this ring now belongs to them, to the Kings in Black, and they won't give it back until they get what they want. Two things, they want his son and his precious symbiote, the Venom, because this war is not for some build, it's for something more important. Welcome to the Venom War. The panel then jumps to the Venom symbiote, where he remembers his life. He had gone against his king, left his people. He was a weak link in the chain of cage. He was vulnerable to manipulation. First he bonded to a host, a sentient host named Telkar. Together, they were soldiers in a war, but Telkar was evil. He controlled him, damaged him, forced him to do bad things, and after that, he did more bad things. Then he found another soldier. He touched his mind after so long in the darkness and saw a compassion that shines like a sunlight. Responsibility to save all lives, a Saint Peter Parker. Venom thought Peter loved him, so he did everything for him. He took on his work, his mission. Even while he slept, he piloted his body to protect innocents. Venom wanted to be with him forever, but in the end, that Saint Peter Parker tried to destroy him. He said he would rather die than bond with him. Venom still saved his life. Even after that, he still wore his symbol. And then he found Eddie. He thought he was bad inside. He was dying, poisoned by shame and self-hate, not by cancer. Venom made that up to make him stay. Venom admits he did wrong to Eddie. But that night, Venom decided to save his life. It was his responsibility. So he chose him. Eddie needed him. They needed each other. And because of the hatred, they declared a new war on the Holy Saint Peter. Even he hated Peter at that time. But Venom did not want to kill him and eat his brain tissue. There were so many hosts after that. Annie, Angelo, Mac Gargan, Lee Price, Flash Thompson and Venom destroyed all of them and also both Eddie and his son Dylan. And he is sad. He wanted to be with his child to fight his war to save lives. But he couldn't save Eddie. In the end, he couldn't even save Dylan. He can't save anybody. He is not a symbiote but a parasite. He destroyed his host and now he is hiding in Peter's closet, the place he once felt useful, wanted and safe. He is hanging with the other costumes, non-living things who do not think or feel or judge him and he is waiting to be dead like them. But Venom's fate hasn't ended yet as right at the time Peter shows up, he grabs his black costume. He heard the news what Eddie announced in the fighting arena so he wants to go there and see what is going on with Eddie this time. But as he wears his black suit, Peter gets shocked as it is Venom in his costume. Somewhere underneath the city streets, Dylan is talking to someone. He is trying to reach out to his symbiote, but he can't. It is like he left him forever. Carnage showed Dylan all the things that Venom did with his dad, with his mom and all the others. They killed people, guilty, innocent. And after Carnage took his life, Dylan found himself at the end of time, the eventuality. And it showed him his father's future, where Eddie Brock has become the final king in black and destroyed the world. He was confused. He wanted to know how can he stop his father. But then 
then the eventuality said he will know when he is older and he doesn't know what that means so dylan asks that person his older self a future dylan brock what is happening how can he stop him so the older dylan says the future is pretty bad that's why he is here to prevent that and he wants his help to kill the future but if he fails then the younger dylan knows what is coming next they both have to stop eddie becoming the king in black the next noel but while they are talking toxin shows up and the older dylan vanishes in a portal and toxin informs him his dad is on tv everyone gather up to watch the news and after seeing his dad dylan and his friends decide to visit eddie and put an end to this war Meanwhile at Alchemax, the evil Meridius, another incarnation of Eddie Brock, the king in black, he is invited in the boardroom of Alchemax, where Meridius gives them a solution to get rid of the symbiote, the chemical K44, highly toxic to humans and also the symbiotes, and he is going to use this ultimate weapon to win this Venom War. So while the Alchemax is preparing to take down Eddie Brock at Peter's apartment, he is talking with the Venom symbiote. He seems off. He tells Peter he will not go to Eddie or his son Dylan. So Peter tells him. If Dylan goes to his dad, then he will be safe if he is wearing him. But Venom gets pissed as Dylan knows what he has done. All those killings, tortures, Dylan won't forgive him and he won't bond him again. All he can do is hurt them. Peter admits, yes it is true. But what he has seen is that when Flash wore him, he made him a hero. And also Eddie and he saved the world. He has learned the differences between good and evil. He has the power to do good things and powers come with responsibility. His uncle taught him that and they can't turn away from it. They can turn away from the choices they have made. Back at the arena, Dylan and his friends show up to confront Eddie and the King in Blacks. Eddie is happy to see his son and he tells him he needs his symbiote back. He needs Venom. But Dylan says he can't do that and it makes Eddie mad. He tells his son he has seen the future. If Dylan keeps the symbiote, 8 billion human beings, they all get trapped in a symbiosis that never ends. The Venom world. But Dylan says he doesn't get it. He doesn't have the symbiote. Venom's gone and it shocks Eddie as Dylan only had one job and he failed. But Dylan is also pissed at his father as he left him alone in the street, abandoning his own son for the creeps like this king in blacks. And he also saw everything what he did with the symbiote. Eddie gets surprised that his son knows about his dark past. And while they are talking about the symbiote, they hear a familiar voice and it says not to worry. Venom's in good hands now and it is Peter with a new black suit as the Venom has bonded with Spider-Man and he is ready to participate in this Venom war. And with this, the chapter 1 of Venom 1 comes to a close. So which part you like the most? Please share your thoughts on the comment section down below. And please like this video and do subscribe as this will motivate me to make more contents. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.